I was thinking this morning, the Lord woke me up, and it was about 5 o'clock. And he gave me a message, and I said, but, you know, Bill's supposed to preach tonight. And this message just kept rolling over and over and over in my mind. And as the day went on, and about 4.30, I kept having uh, issues with my body, you know, some problems that I have all the time. And I was like, I was standing back here while I go, and, and uh, I was like, now, Lord, you knew. This morning at 5 o'clock when you woke me up with the message, you knew where I was going to feel tonight. Come on. You knew, you know, that, that I was taking a chance to even go out and go to church with my medical problems. All right. And you know, but I came on anyway, Brother Billy. Come on. Yeah. And you know, Brother David, sometimes I think he's going to test us to see if we'll come on anyway. Right. Right. You know, I came on anyway. Oh, and I think I've been, I've been back to a restroom eight times since 5 o'clock. But that don't matter because I come on anyway, Brother Billy. Oh, he knew oh, it right. 5 o'clock this morning when he woke me up. He knew what kind of medical issues I was going to have yeah. tonight. Uh, but it's because of his will, not mine. Yes. And I just yeah. want to praise him first. Praise. I was thinking about Brother Hinton today. Praise God. And, uh, I've been doing Billy's news article in his paper. I think the year Brother Hinton died in the same month, I believe it was January <coughs> old one. Is that right, Billy, there about? And of all the articles I wrote, I, I had, a, there was a few that I didn't do, a few of them I just redone, but it was approximately 232 articles over this 11 year period. And if someone asked me tonight, and this is not even my message, but I just wanted to say this, if they asked me tonight, Sister Nancy, out of all the 200 and some odd articles, which one do you think was your best, if you could call it that? And I said, wasted years. Yeah, right. And that has touched me so much. Come on. When I read the article of wasted years, yeah. and I would think about how much I've wasted instead yeah. of doing what I could do for the Lord. Yeah. How many Pray times it. I've wasted oh. my time oh. doing what Nancy wanted to. Come on. My time and going where I wanted to instead of the church. Yeah. My time yeah. of getting upset and telling people off instead of praying for them and saying, you know, there oh. is there is encouragement out there. There's hope. Amen. My time. Yeah. Uh, eating instead of fasting for my brothers and my sisters, my Come children, on. and so Come forth. On. But if I had to pick one tonight, yeah. it was wasted years. Come on, brother. And uh, I'm not saying anything I had in it was that good, but I'm just saying it touched me. You know, all of, all of them was wasted years. But that was all right. But tonight I'm going to preach to you just a very few minutes about That's when your bike is against the wall. All right. I've, I've preached this several times, Sister Judy, Sister Gaddis, I've even preached it here a couple of times. And uh, I said, Lord, they've heard me teach this over and over. He said, well, you're going to have to teach it one more time. Oh, so that's the reason I'm here. Amen. 1 Samuel 17, chapter 34th verse. And David said unto Saul, Thou servant help his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. Yeah. And I went out after him and smoked him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose again against me, I caught him by his beard yeah. and smote him and slew him. Thou servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, Come seeing on. he hath defiled the armies of the living God. Amen. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. All right. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Brother David, would you care to say a blessing over the road? Our gracious Heavenly Father, as we come to you, the start of this preaching, the Lord, we ask you to bless Sister Nancy, Jesus, and let the Holy Ghost fall on her. As she opens her mouth, Lord, let you speak through her and use her in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking about uh, when our back is against the wall, Brother Billy. And I just want to share a few examples to you. I can remember in 1997 when they diagnosed me with the colon cancer. And they told Brother Bill, they said they went in there and they got the cancer. They said if it had been six more months, we wouldn't have been able to save her. Oh. I remember just a few more months later, it came back. They had to go in again. You know, everybody here knows all this stuff. I can remember the night in Orangeville, Kentucky, that my mom, I, maybe I wasn't at church. I was in the emergency room over in, Ohio, in uh, uh, Hopkins County and my mom stood up and she said, Sister Judy, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's wrong, but I know Nancy's in trouble. Amen. 
Amen. And I remember my mom stood up and she went in prayer and they prayed for her. And at the same time, I was laying over in Madisonville Hospital with blood clots all through my body. And they wouldn't let me move, Brother David. Yep. They had to take a sheet. They told where the bill. They moved me from the bed onto another bed. They yep. said, whatever you do, don't let her move a muscle. Oh, right. I remember Brother Bill sitting at my bedside that night. I remember a nurse sitting outside the door yep. because they was afraid these blood clots was going to go to my heart or my wherever they got, I guess your lungs. Right. And I can remember whenever I was laying there that night. And I remember the next morning they were telling me, they said, we're going to take her to surgery, it's going to be a four-hour surgery. Yeah. And uh, again, I had moved all night, they wouldn't let me move. And I remember Sister Judy was there walking in, she said, Nancy, she said, I woke up this morning, and he said, it's not as bad as what we thought it was. They said, oh. okay, we're taking her out, we're taking her to surgery. 45 minutes later, I was back in my room, Sister Cindy. He came in there and he said, you know, I don't know what happened, but it's not as bad as we right. thought it was. Oh. And they got in there, there was no sign of blood clots. Now the same God, the same God who killed yes. me of cancer in, in yes. my 97 is the same God who took care of me when I had the blood clots. Yes. The same God that when my back's against the wall and I'm so sick and I don't know what I'm going to do, all i got to do is move my back. Yes. Back to when I had the cancer. Back to when I had a particular surgery with my children. Come on, oh, listen, your children can get to you. Yes, oh, I get to my mama too. But I can remember a time one of my kids was in Tennessee talking to mama at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I said, Mama Joni's in Tennessee. We ain't heard from her for three days. I don't know where this kid's at. I don't know what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Mama said, Well, Nancy Lord's always come through. Yeah. Oh. I said, Yes, Mom, I know he has. Yeah. I think within the next few hours, she called. She said, Tell Daddy, come and get me. I'm down here. I'm in trouble. Her dad went. I can remember a time in Calhoun. Me and Missy had took all the great babies. That time I think we had six. And uh, we didn't think we were going to get the picture made, Cindy, but we never got it made because I was holding one, she was holding one, and by the time we were get one in the court, another one had crawled out and took off. And so I remember taking Samantha's two boys in. Yeah. And when I went to go get in the truck, or the van, me and Sister Reese could hear his daddy cussing him. This child was a year and a half old, and we heard him cussing that baby out. I can remember going home. I remember locking my door. Billy and Bill was gone to a bit of it, I think, somewhere. I remember locking the door, Cindy. And I remember falling up on my face and praying for my babies. Oh. Now, before I done this, see, I just, all I done about the day was walk the floor. Yeah. Mama, what am I going to do? Mama, what can I do? Yeah. Instead of doing what I should have done, get my Bible, pick it up, and fall up my face and put him on. Oh. I remember. Johnny's little baby was born. She was born addicted to drugs. I remember Billy walking away, y'all heard this, round and around that apartment. Yeah. And little old cat, she'd look at you, but you could tell she didn't focus. She wasn't looking at you. And I remember taking that baby and holding it to my bosom. And I'd rock, and I'd pray, and I'd rock, and I didn't see. And I can remember the night, Sister Cindy. I walked in that appointment, that baby was sitting in her carry on. Yeah. That baby looked at me just as plain as that. God had oh. came on the throne. Amen. He had Amen. came on the throne. Amen. So what I want to say to you tonight is that when you don't know what happens, right. all you gotta do is search back to a time when you didn't know what was gonna happen. Come you on. didn't know what was gonna be. Come on. And say, Well, he delivered me out of the hand of the lion and the bear and the Philistine. He can do this for me too, and that's all I've got. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.